probably recognize the setting here behind me from quite a few videos now. We are on our annual trip to a place that needs little to no introduction. We are back at Tochibamba Safaris for annual hunt here. We drove out from Pretoria like 3 o'clock this morning and arrived just before lunch. So at the moment we are just a few other guys and tomorrow Vian and the rest of the people will join us. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna go out for an afternoon sit now and hopefully get something on the ground. I said that last year nothing happened so we hope we can have a bit of an improvement from from last year but yeah so we are ready to go we'll probably head out in the next 30 minutes or so and hopefully get something on the ground so yeah stay tuned and hopefully next video is somewhere in the blind with a bunch of huge impala coming into the water Okay, so first full day of hunting here next to Limpopo. Got woken up with the sound of hippos here in the river at about 5 o'clock this morning. So yeah, not a bad way to wake up. But yeah, just quickly shot one shot at 30 yards and drilled it. So I'm happy. Should have a bit more confidence going into today. But yeah, so we arrived here yesterday and um, sat the afternoon sit. But yeah, the wind was swirling and yeah, to say at least I wasn't confident going in. And I think... I saw one stand back you and um, the other one saw two little immature impala you. So yeah, gonna hopefully get the better morning set to, to morning this morning. So yeah, stick with us and um, here's a Mary now. So we'll head out to the blinds in a moment. So yeah, catch you in the tree stand. <laughs> No problem. Let's get like the camera. I'd come by and sell this. What do I can have? Okay. Good job, Jelle.
to the tree stand just dropped Marco and Diego off I'm um, so they're sitting together and then I'm sitting in the tree stand again hopefully one of those big impala rams comes in and I just checked the wind it looks better than yesterday so uh, my hopes are a bit higher and usually the the morning sits here are a bit more productive so yeah I'm gonna get in a stand now and yeah hopefully we can get some some first blood this morning. Okay guys, so I've been sitting in this tree stand for the past couple of hours. The sun's been beating down on me, I think I'm gonna have some nasty sunburn. So yeah, about three hours ago I had a, a, a large herd of impala just come by the hide. They didn't, uh, by the water, they didn't come in to drink um, and they moved off again. And then now about 20 minutes ago, a bachelor herd of rams came in and I shot one. The shot looks a little bit higher than I would have liked, but not too high. And um, also I think I shot through and shot onto the opposite shoulder bone and the arrow stopped. So penetration was also not great, but there's good blood on the ground. So I'm going to give it 30 minutes and yeah, then we'll go have a look and see what the trail holds. But yeah, I think it, it should be good. Um, not, the, not the best shot, but it should be a fatal shot. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs>
that one's dead, definitely. Okay, so if I was raised a tomato, that's because I've been sitting in the sun for a very long time. But yeah, eventually that dirt came back. And yeah, I didn't even attempt to go for the ram. Um, he's too preoccupied with his female. So the first mature female that gave me a shot, I took it. And yeah, I think it was a very good shot, full pass through. But um, I just checked the footage and um, I have to film here yeah, through a very dodgy tripod system on my cooler bag through those leaves and everything. So yeah, um, there was a uh, branch right in front of a vitals. So you can't see the exact impact, but um, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have gone 100 yards. So yeah, I'm stoked, got my ram in my ear. So yeah, waiting for Martinez to come pick me up now. There you can still hear the ram in the background. Oh, the, they are still standing there. Um, but yeah, waiting for Martinez to come pick me up take the two trails and then hopefully I have a, a nice Impala ram and a nice Impala female to show for it. So yeah, super happy. That's the Impala used blood. Yeah, that's